Hey folks, so we're gonna be looking at line 28 today. So you wanna make sure, again, the whole focus on these lines is bow tone and accuracy. Can you play in tune? Can you keep the bow speed manageable to where things sound as smooth and as glassy as possible? Um, after you've gone through and made sure that you're playing on the tapes and you've gotten rid of any like any extra sound, uh, it's gonna sound something like this. Make sure your metronome is set to 60. Here we go. And one, two, ready, and go now. Two, three. So the big challenge in this piece, and you guys can even hear it in my sound, because as I've mentioned, not my main instrument, I'm still working on it. In that last note, the whole note D, it's really easy to waver and fluctuate and let your bow tone kind of get wonky. So make sure that uh, in the measure before it, B, B, C sharp, A, D, that you uh, when you get to the A uh, as an up bow, you're really giving it some velocity so you can get all the way back to the frog. You want to end that note right there, all the way at the frog. Because if you do this, and you start that D here, or uh, that high D here, you're going to run out of bow. And you can hear how thin and wimpy that sounds, but if you have a full bow backing you up, you get a much higher quality sound. Good luck.